the folks over at Zen Master of Truth, they're doing their a holeish variety. They're doing 30 reviews, one per day for all of Halloween. I have to say, they really stepped up their game this year. Um, they uh, last year's there were some funny ones, but the 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 kind of warbly AI voice for Bimmy was not. It wore on you. I mean, especially after like you, like you mm. couldn't get through a ten minute one. You know, you'd be like, all right, never. Yeah, mind. it's it's a fun. It's funny at first. You're like, oh, that's kind of funny. But yeah, if you if you watch a bunch of them, it gets kind of grating. Hello, I'm Beams Rolf. Welcome to Monster Madness of the Asshole Story. Unlike that fake plagiarist attempt last year, the following review of the angry video game nerd movie is a tale of a true alien encounter. But they were they a uh, uh, great Bowser. And a couple other ones, they were kind enough to, Brown Electrons put me in one, but they, they let me do the thing where I impersonate them and then they deep fake the impersonation. And, um, yeah, yeah. it's pretty, pretty funny. Uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. Those, those ones are great. Those <laughs> ones are great. Yeah. The, um, what were they? There were, it was the, oh, American Psycho, right. Yep. As the, <laughs> the sequel to Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the Psycho series. I've already talked at length about the Psycho movie series. I've already talked at length about the Psycho movie series. You may remember my documentaries about both the original four films as well as the famous house that appeared in them. They're easily some of the best horror films in cinema history. They're easily some of the best horror films in cinema history. American Psycho follows a character called Norman Bateman, the titular American Psycho, as he goes on a killing spree in downtown New York. As I understand it, Bateman is a cousin or some other distant relative of Norman Bates. Remember the money that ended up in the swamp in the first movie? Well, it turns out Bates must have known about it all along, as it's the only explanation why someone from his family would become a vice president at Wall Street. As it's the only explanation why someone from his family would become a vice president at Wall Street. And then, uh, yeah, Miami Connection. <laughs> Miami Connection. This is the guy I call Mr. Son of a Bitch. Let's take a trip back to the 80s again. What else was popular besides Walkmans, Slap Bracelets, and Transformers? Karate. It was everywhere, man. If there wasn't a dojo in your local mini mall, it was on the big screen with big hits like Karate Kid, Big Trouble in Little China, and Bloodsport, just to name a few. And then the Brown Electrons one was the... Um, 20, that was the... Feet. 20,000 feet. Yeah. Which yeah. Is, that was, that was pretty intense. <laughs> the, the amount of animation that must've went into that one. The fuck they've given me ticket 540. That must be all the way in the asshole of the plane. Alrighty. You're in my seat, asshole. Yeah. Seats taken. That fat fucker. Anyway, I'll just sit over here. Their um, Into the Bimmyverse logo that they do, um, the, uh, you know, the Twilight Zone parody, like the, with that AI, I mean, it's, it's somebody over there does some good work. You unlock this door with the key in my dreams. You're moving into a land of memes and no time. You've just crossed over into the Bimmyverse. It continues to surprise me, the creativity, just <laughs> trying to run counter to, to <laughs> Bimmy. But I, I actually, I, I was recommended uh, his Family Matters, uh, the real Bimmy's fam Family Matters yeah. one. I, I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like it, it, his Happy Day ones. I was like, that Happy Days episode looks pretty fun. Uh, looks like a good Halloween-y time. But I will say... His his teleprompter cadence and the fact that he's stationary and the fact that somebody else cut in the clips, it really it it is kind of indistinguishable from the parodies of him at this point. And the um it's true. And this Steve Urkel one or the um yeah, it, it, it the beginning he didn't write it because right. there's he references things that are little past his time. Yeah. And so like Well, we know he doesn't know anything about the Simpsons. For instance. Yeah, exactly. And so he was talking about like goosebumps and stuff. I'm like, I think you were slightly too old yeah, for that. No way. And I'm not forgetting about all those Halloween specials like The Last Halloween with the weird CG aliens, Disney's Halloween Town, and the Halloween Tree, which has beautiful animation. But he's, li he's literally said, I like, I've never seen The Simpsons, believe it or not. And then I'm like, 
If you've never seen The Simpsons, you're probably – I've never you – know, I've listened to the guy for 16 years. I've never heard him talk about South Park. Um, he mentions – he's like, what about South Park? And what about South Park? They capped off the final years of the 90s with such great laughers as Korn's groovy pirate ghost mystery. Um, a Scooby-Doo parody with the band Korn? Sure, why not? But then when he starts talking about family matters, you can tell he cares about family yeah, matters. he wrote all like the family that. matters stuff. And then at the end, he's like, I'd like to just review family matters from now on because it's like the one thing that brings me joy. <laughs> In fact, I should just stop everything, uh, stop all other videos and just review every episode of family matters from now on i'm only half joking and i kind of wish you would yeah like <laughs> go, go for, for it, it man let's do it go let's for it. make this bimmy matters the the, the channel rename it <laughs> uh, you know if he did a, a spinoff <laughs> channel that's just called bimmy matters <laughs> i think it would do well because there's people who do podcasts where they just rewatch every episode of buffy or something he Frazier. could do that yeah 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 I agree. He, <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see his inaugural, like, what's this? A new YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be about family matters. You know, when he gets like his, his curator voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing is uh, interesting about um, this uh, Cinemasque or Truth thing is like what the AI is trained on. Because sometimes it seems like it's trained on avgn and so it yeah. sounds a little different sometimes it's trained on monster madness so it sounds more like a yeah, professorial <laughs> bimmy <laughs> so There's nothing but you get <laughs> you get you get different different takes it's very interesting yeah well, I, I i a number on the ones that i did a number of people were like he doesn't say he hasn't sounded this energetic since you know 2013 <laughs> or something uh, it's, yeah it's, tr it's kind of true like he's become kind of like a, like the you know testicleless version of himself but this begs the question why is this movie called american psycho why not psycho 1.5 as far as i'm aware norman bates from the original movies was already an american in fact the entire series took place in america so why give this one such a generic title and because of this bad decision i can't keep it together with the other movies because it's not in alphabetical order what were they thinking i wake up every morning i don't know about you to notifications about who commented while I was sleeping. And uh, there's something there's something about that Mountain um, short video that, we, you know, I, I cut a short of us making fun of him for saying Mountain. 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 Mountains. 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 Mountain. Mountain. Mountains. Mountain. 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 Mountains. Every single comment on that one is like, that's a perfectly acceptable way to say mountain. I'm like, no, it's not. Mountain. Um, <laughs> and it's fun. It's fun to, you know, it's fun to just have a lull, have a lull. People talk different. It's funny. And, and there's a lot of like, you guys are so jealous. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know. I wish I said yeah. mountain. <laughs> you, you always get those comments. You always get those comments. There's, it's like my Game Boy video, like beautiful, supportive comments, like hundreds of them. And then there's one guy, it's like, could have tightened that up. It's uh, all over the place. You're talking about Twin Peaks, <laughs> lol. And you're just like, <laughs> Twin Peaks? Really? I, I, I was I was trying to build something there. I don't. I think you missed it. But subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.